Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, this video is just a quick video, maybe not quick, but I have to explain it uh, very good. So uh, actually, I have my best. But uh, in this <coughs> tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create functions. I'll just if you don't know what I mean, just look this video, <laughs> and I will. Yeah, it will be explained uh, for itself. Actually, so here we have the form one that is just build it. I double click on this. And now, um, let's see form on <coughs> on the form load. I want to meet that text equals to something. Let's say um, time. Uh, wait a second. Just something process dot get current process ID. And you see this uh, pink box thingy process dot to string them <coughs> so when I run it it will sh show the title you can see some strange stuff but okay um, so this is a function and it will return a value and I'm going to show you everything about this in one second so to make this uh, work right yeah not work right because it always will work but this is just by adding a module it's just very very more secure than it is when you put it in there uh, uh, on the private sub form on score load so I call module 1 as functions subs and press add now here it comes so public sub because it has to be public so public oh not sub <laughs> I go wrong this public function of course and then it's going to be a name so let's call this one get time or something like that oh it's taken just get day day let's say day and then those uh, brackets and then a string if you want to string so now you see a warning it's green or oh, is it a warning green so I scroll down to my error list and it says something that <coughs> it's no reference expression and stuff and it could it could result occur occur a an runtime error so um i found it out and myself and it was actually pretty hard to find it out but okay i i done it so i'm going to show you right now so get day so we want the day so dim day as string then day equals to uh, I, I don't know if you know this, but it's date dot. Uh, no, let's see. It must be something in there. I thought. Else. Uh, <laughs> um. Come on, today. It's today. So day equals date dot today. So then it's not gone again. As uh, it's still not gone. But okay. And that is because a function always returns a value, and that means um, it can be used uh, like how do you call it in a message box or something that will be displayed. Um, so you have to return a value, and uh, maybe it sounds so stupid, but it took me like one hour to find out how to return some a value. But it's so damn easy. So just type in return, return and then it will return the value of day so it was that easy um, so now when we go to form 1 I'm going to add a label uh, yeah you can add a timer if you uh, if this project is going to be run for running uh, this uh, application form uh, days and stuff so it will refresh the date so now I'm going to type in label one dot text equals to remind the name. Um, it was get day. Here you can see it get day and then public function get day as string. So when I run it, I hope it works. <laughs> you can see now it's uh, seven two seven ten. So it will be uh, twenty seven October of uh, two thousand eight. Um, so you can add more things like uh, if, uh, yeah you know the you you know what I mean um so 
yeah you also have something else and it's public property Hopefully, let's say a set title now we get a error error again so then uh, get is going to be a returning value so return um let's return nothing nothing oh nothing so let's say dim text a uh, title title equals to me oh form one dot text so and then uh, it will return title uh, and then set it will be set it so form one dot text equals value maybe ask me how do you know why it's value because it stands there by val value so it will mean it will be stored in this so now um, let's add a button and text look I know this is not a need uh, to get a property or something but okay it's just to show you of course example so this is set and then read so set is going to be set title um, set title uh, equals to oh wait a second set title yes yeah, set title equals to text box one dot text um so button two is just text it's just the opposite of it so text with one dot text equals to set title title so let's uh, play it if you want to call it play but okay uh, so read is going to be form one so let's say hello you there and set it will set the title when I clear it and read it will just read it so this is going to be a kind of like a more more how do you say it more advanced way of a sub and then you can also make it a read only so you can't actually uh, set it but then you have actually a fun function so uh, actually pretty strange uh, and I still don't know why they added the read only property because it will only return something and that's the same as a function does but okay I'm not going to uh, bullshit you to death uh, with all my strange uh, stories about functions and properties and read only properties and stuff like that so um, you can find it out at yourself too um, because the most uh, parts of learning Visual Basic I learned that myself uh, and that is why Visual Basic is really um, good because they have a nice uh, when you type something it will get just the box of properties you have so yeah this was my tutorial uh, Please visit my blog if you are a beginner and stuff. And, uh, it's not uh, uh, not very great right now, but I try to work work on it. But okay. Um, so please subscribe too because it will motivate me. I don't know if I have to say it uh, all the time, but it keeps me motivated to make more videos. So uh, again, I'm not bullshitting you with my other stories. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll catch you later.